you know, we're looking at different problems if it's Toronto at Edmonton, but Edmonton, it's been a season long one. I'm, I'm really, I, you know, I'm, that's a pretty statement for nothing victory by a Detroit Red Wing team, which is kind of retooling about, about Edmonton, which is not injury ravaged or anything. I guess they've sent Yamamoto down. Yeah. That's the news today. Kyler Yamamoto back to Spokane. Haven't heard of a, a recall Malone. yet. A Malone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know why they kept him to tell you the truth. Anyway, the start, but anyway, that's another Kyler. Yeah, I, I don't. I, oh, he I, had a great camp. I, mean, he was, I know, he but was outstanding. The, what the underage players with the contracts and all that kind of, you know, I mean, here it, it won't bite them in the butt anyway. They get them back in time. But I'm just mean in general. You know, you don't want to start the clock ticking if it goes if he goes back as a positive experience versus some guys go back and they go back to junior and they're not happy going well, back. Cause it's it, interesting that Malone gets the call up and not Pugliarvi. Yeah, and you, yeah, I know. We, I kind of want to see what Pugliarvi is going to do. I kind of want to see him up there. I want to see him in a situation where maybe he could possibly be a difference or, like, bring a spark. But maybe that's unfair, right? They want yeah. him to stay down. Don't come up where there's expectations. Play and win and just stay under the radar and come back a more complete player, not where we're, we're desperate and like we think we've got to... Kyle Connor in Winnipeg went down at the start of the year. They recalled him because of the parole injury. Yeah. And he's been lights yeah. out. They need they need something, obviously, to go good for them to get guys feeling good. Like, we've seen Montreal with the big comeback win against Winnipeg, like what a feeling, get guys going, their big boys are starting to score. Yeah, they don't have Carey Price, but their team's feeling good about themselves. You need something like that. Like Edmonton, I don't know what it's going to take. Like I remember playing in the in the minors one year, and we weren't going very good, and we got in a line brawl. We had an old, old-time old line brawl, which never Were happens anymore. Ice? Yeah. Did you start it? I was. Yeah, we kind of just like had enough. We were like getting losing. It was in Hershey. Okay, and what happened? Started a line brawl, just like everyone. Like how do you decided, start a line brawl? Just go up to guys and start fighting, and then we just started going. And then in the dressing room after though, after that though, we went. Did on you like, win the game? No, we lost. But it kind of like was like this moment of our team where it, I don't know if it showed that we cared or if it was like brought us together. But it was like something in our season at that time that kind of changed the tide of the feeling of our team. And I think you know a lot of the come come from behind win. There's always something in a season when a team's kind of sliding, I think that you see that one defining moment of, you know, a player that does something great in a game that kind of pulls the team along or, you know, come from behind victory. There's, there's that one thing that kind of gets teams feeling good to, to go. And then they're on the right side of the game. Most, not, most times with, with the feeling of the team. So they need something to happen. They need uh, no. something. Edmondson just needs like a, a spark.